Hi, I'm Jamil Lander, Master Esthetician at Dr. Hauschka Skin Care, and I am here to do a consult with Greta, the lovely Greta. So when I start a skincare consult, I like to start with some kind of positive discovery questions because we are definitely a company been around a long time as you as <laughs> yes. you know like MERS old timers old timers <laughs> I think the longevity is about our approach to mm -hmm. the skin because it's really about supporting the health mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. skin and the ability of the skin to self-balance yeah with synthetic free products that are very plant rich what do you love about your skin mm -hmm. and how would you describe your skin. I mean, I think we're so not trained to think of it that way, first of all. Yeah. Right? It's like every quiz you take in a magazine, it's like, what are the problems with your skin? So what exactly. a mind shift. Yeah, yeah I, can give you, <laughs> I can give you a moment to think about it. Because it is, it can be a kind of a, a, a different way yeah. of thinking about it. I'm in my late 30s. Okay. I have had three kids. Um, my skin has changed a lot in the yeah. last decade. Yes. And it's been through a lot of, I feel like the hormonal like roller coaster mm -hmm. of having children was a wild time. I'm trying to grow to love its age, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know? Like, my, I'm like seeing age around my eyes especially, and I'm sort of like, you know, there are days when I don't love that, but there are days when I'm like, yeah, that's who I mm -hmm. am. And like, you know, I've lived some life now. Yeah. Um, during COVID, I um, sort of stopped wearing makeup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I've come to really enjoy especially not wearing eye makeup i used to wear more makeup and now i'm just like actually what i want to show off is the health of my skin mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um and that was a i think that was a covid revelation but i totally love and respect the people who spend a yes. lot of time yeah yeah <laughs> Um, yeah. pampering themselves. I am not one of those people. <laughs> I take quick showers and I put on the three things I need and I'm out the door Perfect. fast. Yeah. And that's like a point of pride for me. That is definitely part of the philosophy as well. It's about, again, that long-term health of the skin, mm -hmm. not about attaining some kind of like unattainable perfection yeah. or beauty or hopping on trends. It's yeah. really about that long-term. In health. it for the long haul. In it for the long <laughs> haul. And what's going to work for your for your schedule. Mm -hmm. um, and what about um, any kind of sensitivity? In the summer, I feel like my skin really shines. Okay. When it starts okay. to get cold, it gets dry. Okay. I also tend to get red patches, okay. like around my eyes usually yep. is where I get them, which is I think another reason why I sort of just like stopped using eye makeup. Mm -hmm. I am prone during PMS time to get like some pimples and some okay. acne like on yes. my cheeks. Okay. Um, so I would say those are the, the, the recurring issues. Okay. We are shifting into the more drier mm -hmm. time of year. This was so helpful. So starting off with cleansing, which mm -hmm. is that basic step of your, of your ritual, I would say, cause you're like, like to be minimal. Yeah. I would say the soothing cleansing milk is an excellent choice for you to, to start the day to just do a very gentle cleanse that's not gonna strip the skin because mm -hmm. it's also that's part of our approach to really keep that healthy barrier yeah. of the skin in place. And that's gonna help with the sensitivity, that's gonna help with the, the dryness mm -hmm. as well. As so well, twice a day? Milk. Yes, Okay. so this could be awesome twice a day. So Great. morning and evening. So in the morning it's just like that removal mm -hmm. of the night in a very gentle way. At night it's removing the day. So this can remove makeup, pollution, perspiration, yeah. Yeah. the impurities on the surface yeah. without that stripping. So then, I next, mean, I already use this product yeah. and it's like my, I have a little one that I keep in my bag all the time. This is, I'm like addicted a, to it. Oh yeah, <laughs> an awesome, awesome product. That's a great way to do it too mm -hmm. throughout the day to yeah. refresh the skin. If yeah. you are wearing makeup, you can even set your makeup yeah. with it. So this is a great thing to do after cleansing because you're going to get this, this nice hydration for the skin, mm -hmm. toning for the skin. And also we say leave the skin damp with mm -hmm. it before the next product to really allow that moisture to be anchored in to the skin okay. and really create that nice oil water balance. So this is awesome. Cool. It is so just beautiful plant extracts in it. Mm. They have witch it hazel smells so good. And, and it smells so good. It's like <laughs> super, super refreshing. Yeah. Then I would say as you're transitioning into this colder time of year, mm -hmm. I think the rose day cream. 
I typically have used the quince in the past. This is definitely our richest, most protective. Mm -hmm. But when you're talking about these drier red patches, yeah. I think this would be an awesome protection for you as we get, again, going into this drier mm -hmm. time of year. Really rich and the rose itself is very harmonizing for the, the drier areas, creating this beautiful barrier supporting wow. that. This is the revitalizing mask. This one is great for all skin conditions, like whatever is going on mm -hmm. for the skin, because it just is a, is a balancer, a hydrator. But when you speak about those hormonal breakouts along yeah. the jawline, this is a great spot treatment. Mm. So you could use it, of course, as a mask treatment, uh -huh. like as a special, but you were mentioning how life is really busy. You have three kids, like the, the concept of a mask is like a great in concept. Yeah, but, in but reality, I never do it. Right, so it's like, and it, exactly, and I think that's what happens where it's like you get the mask and you have this great idea that you're gonna you know, take this time for yourself mm -hmm. and then it sits there on your shelf, yes, right? Yes, <laughs> So with these masks, it's, it's great because you can use it as this spot treatment mm. or even like a thin layer that you leave on underneath your moisturizer. Oh as this is this hydrator, balancer, okay. um, excellent again for any kind of redness, any kind of blemishing. If you, again, we're talking about those dry patches, mm -hmm. great for that. So it could just be like this additional little piece. So you yeah. have these three, these three steps, but as needed, you can apply this. Now, when I think of a mask, I think of like a tub, right. you know, or like a sheet mask, which is like very yes. trendy now. This is obviously like a small tube so yes. i assume it's a very thin layer if you are doing it as a mask treatment mm -hmm. you'd be a little more generous with it so we say like one fat inch of okay. the product if you're doing it as a mask treatment uh, okay. you can include the eye area as well mm -hmm. but if you're just doing it as a spot treatment or as this thin layer you could do more of a pea size okay. amount and when people think of a mask too they think of something that they can leave on but then they have to remove after a certain amount of time yeah but this just soaks in to the skin really okay. nicely because of its formulation. Okay, cool. Um, so these are your three main uh -huh. daily products to help yeah. you get out the door and look glowing. Even on the days that you decide not to wear makeup, you just mm -hmm. have that kind of healthy glow because the Rose Day Cream leaves a really nice healthy glow. Yeah, which is most days for me. That's yeah, great. yeah. And then and then the revitalizing mask can be for those those times that you need that little extra. Okay. Balance. Cool. Thank you, Jamie. Yeah. Thank you, Greta. Awesome. <laughs> so come shop Dr. Hauschka products right here at Merz Apothecary in Lincoln Square or at smallflower.com.